The elk is a large species of deer that live outside in many places throughout the world. Elk are big and brown, and approximately half of them have antlers, while the other ones do not. During late autumn, all species of animals are battling for the last food stores provided by the summer bounty and are in desperate search of a mate. In the distance, the mature bull hears the enticing bugle of a cow in heat. It is the unmistakable sound of a thirsty hoe looking to get dicked down. With an instinctive drive to reproduce and a full-fledged rager, the bull elk leaves the river in an effort to score some strange... Whoa, 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 what was... Oh, damn, girl! Mm. Yeah! Competing for a mate is dangerous work. And for a juvenile bull, the outcome of a challenge for dominance is nearly certain defeat. Summoning what courage he has, the young bull stands firm and presents a challenge for the role of dominant male. And with it, the right and responsibility to reproduce. Well, I again. This isn't okay. You are gay. You are a transgender. What, 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 what? Humiliated, the young challenger accepts defeat while the stronger bull continues his quest, unabated for romance. Relegated to a subordinate position, the young male finds solace. He approaches the bush and dives in with extraordinary enthusiasm. What? What the? F Why? What the fuck, Karen? <clears throat> the elk dives into the bush with great enthusiasm. Oh, holy shit! He's ears deep in that bush. Oh, what, what the fuck? The elk appears to be cock-blocked by a middle-aged bald man in orange gym shorts. Such is the life of a young male. Disappointment at every turn. An intense standoff ensues between man and beast. He's a Learning from his previous encounter, the young elk knows that homophobic slurs are the best chance of getting a challenger to quickly back down. Our film crew has caught up with the mature elk and has captured astonishing footage of the majestic courtship that leads to future generations and a healthy elk population. It's the thing, it's the depth of flavor, it's not just the flavor.